All right, hello everyone. Welcome to my first and final 401 exhibition. My name is David Goldblum and let's begin. So introduction, this has been one of the strangest years of my life. Um, I've seen a lot of progress academically, but I honestly do not care that much <laughs> to tell you the truth. It's been one of the best years I've had in terms of school, but I think I'm more proud of my growth in terms of my personal life. Um, I actually got my first job this year at Walgreens. It pays consistently. It's, it's great. Uh, I got my driver's license so I could drive places, and I developed some really great relationships and friendships. So I'm more proud of that, but that doesn't summarize my whole year um, at TCS, so I'm excited to talk more about what I've been up to. I'm going to be talking about our SWILLOWs, which are school-wide learning outcomes, and they're basically the standards that we're assessed on at TCS. First Willow is written communication. I've always been kind of good at this Willow, uh, but I've also had challenges, particularly with fiction writing. And so I wanted to push myself this year to try more of that and get out of my comfort zone. And so for Autobiography Chapter 14, I wrote a, cho a Choose Your Own Adventure book. Um, it was definitely a struggle for me to try and do this, and I honestly don't think it went that well. Uh, it's basically because every option that you have, you die in the book because I didn't know how to further the story. But, <laughs> but regardless, I was proud of myself for being able to overcome that problem and try something new. And I'm happy that I was able to get something out. It, it was about when I went to the US Capitol, but I obviously didn't die, so it's fiction. Um, so I want to keep working on my fiction writing, even though I don't like it. Um, as I said, I've always been kind of good at writing communication, uh, particularly with stuff that I find interesting, like politics. So the letter that I wrote to Governor Jay Inslee earlier this year in the project, uh, Lean and Speak Out, it was right up my alley. I wrote about race-based affirmative action and kind of made commentary on that. And I want to keep going with that in my writing, finding stuff that I'm interested in. And I want to you know, keep growing as well. So fiction writing, absolute goal, and I want to keep doing that as well. World communication. I honestly, we didn't have a lot of opportunity to do that this year, and I've grown the most in this swillow during my time at TCS. But when we did do it, it went exceedingly well. So in the project Lean and Speak Out, I worked with Sierra, and we did a project on why book banning should be banned federally. And it went really well. We had one of the most concise and clear presentations out of everyone. I loved working with Sierra. We have very similar working styles, but I'll talk more about that later. And the panel agreed with us. We presented to a panel of community experts. We had people on the city council, the police ombudsman came in. So, and it was very, it was great. So I was very proud of that. And yeah, so that was one success I had in world communication. Another success I had was in my wildfires presentation in Beat the Heat. I honestly did not care that so much about the presentation and I kind of took a back seat in terms of the prep of the presentation. And that was a goal that I had for my collaboration, which I'll talk about later. But yeah, so I did a lot of research and slides design, but I didn't do a lot of leadership, and that's kind of the whole goal, because I frankly thought other people should pick up the slack. And the presentation was a mess, nonetheless. Nobody knew what they were doing except for me. So, but I, I have no regrets, because that was my plan the entire time, so yep. Oral communication went great this year for the little amount of time that we did it. Agency was kind of a mixed swillow for me this year. On one hand, I did a really great job going above and beyond my work at the beginning of the year. For example, with the TCS Election Chronicle and My Vote, My Voice, I did most of, if not all of the work for the sections that were assigned to me when I was in groups of five and three. Um, Actually, one of the ones I did completely by myself because the person that did the technical formatting in the first place forgot to save it. So I had to do it all by myself at the last second. But the main thing that I'm proud of was when I saw the final draft of the Election Chronicle, and Nate told me that we were sending this to the Spokesman Review and other media outlets, and I saw the final draft and I was like, why are we sending this? This is the worst work that we could send out to the community. It's so embarrassing. Why are we sending this out? You should edit it. And he was like, but it would take away from the students and the work that they've done. So I was like, I'll edit it. Let me edit this, please. And 
he was like, I'll talk to Dave about it. And they gave me 24 hours to do so. And that night, I unfortunately got unreasonably sick. I had the chills, I had a headache. Actually, the next morning, I ended up passing out in Matthew's room before school. And so, to show you how much effort it took to get that done, really shows how much I cared about it. And there were still mistakes in the end, and there were still things I could have fixed. But with the amount of time that I was given, I'd say I did a pretty dang good job. <laughs> but at the end of the year, well, at the end of the semester, I suppose, I sort of lost motivation in all my projects. Last year, I didn't understand why the seniors were being so terrible in projects, but senior burnout is so real, man. It's so real. I didn't realize how much it affects you until, you know, this past couple weeks. And I've just got in, gotten back into the habit of procrastinating a lot, which was something I struggled with in middle school. And it's not that I didn't do the work at all, I just waited until the last second, particularly with Autobiography Chapter 15. I did it like the day before it was due, and I got like a 3.5 in terms of agency and a 4 out of 4 on written communication. But the thing was, Dave gave me the opportunity to revise it, and I chose not to because I was too lazy and frankly did not care. And I'm very sad about this because beforehand I had all 100% in my classes, which is absolutely insane. Not many people can say that. But because I didn't revise this, I lost two points, so I have a 98% in advisory now, unfortunately. Um, which is sad, to say the least, but it'll be really interesting to see how I overcome that obstacle in the, you know, next year, because obviously I still have like six months to go. So I really, maybe it's finding personal relevance, maybe it's finding support with my peers and my facilitators. I don't know how I'm gonna overcome that, but I really think I need to. Um, collaboration, <coughs> I talked about it earlier, but a presentation with Sierra, and I have a bad habit of working with people I don't like and frankly are not good people to work with. So to have someone that has the same working style and someone I can learn from was really helpful for me. And so that's a goal going forward is to identify strengths in other people, even if I don't necessarily like them as people, but to learn from them to, in any way possible is something that I need to do and I think other people should do as well. But in, in that same presentation, I talked about it a lot already, but I took the back seat. And I tend to be an autocrat in my groups and kind of be the go-getter and facilitate everyone, but I decided not to do that, and I'm quite happy, even if it didn't go great in terms of the actual presentation. It was a mess, and people were doing other people's slides, whatever. I wouldn't change a thing that I did, but I do want to find a happy medium where I can also help make decisions and facilitate and make sure it doesn't go to crap, but also take that step back and let other people step up to those leadership positions. And I talked about that. Knowledge and thinking. I've always hated talking about this swillow because number one, you go to school to learn and retain knowledge, but also if you can't think, you can't function. So I will spend very little on this swillow because I frankly don't like it. But an instance where I did dive deep in my learning this year was particularly in stuff that I cared about, like our civics projects, like Lean and Speak Out. This was the research summary we did in Lean and Speak Out, and we had to dive deep into a topic before we wrote our letters. Um, my topic was affirmative action, and before that we had done a case study that I also dove deep into. So um, just stuff that I care about, I tend to dive deep into, and I was very proud of myself for doing the extra stuff that I didn't have to, even with problems with motivation, I suppose. So um, this is the taking action, the written piece, and beat the heat. As I said, I had problems with motivation, so the fact that I did this at all is quite a miracle. And included with this was the Cornell notes that we did in <laughs> Beat the Heat. And I talked to Matthew about this. I was like, why are we doing Cornell notes if we're never going to use the notes in the first place? We never used the notes, even though he tried to convince me we wouldn't benchmark too. So the fact that I did them at all, even though I hate Cornell notes, we've done the same climate change project three times now, I think it's great that I was able to learn something, even though it didn't go necessarily in my favor. So growth and goals, I obviously made a lot of 
advancement socially and emotionally, developed great friendships, whatever. I'm feeling more like an adult, and it's crazy that I'm going to turn 18 in less than a month. That's just absurd. Never thought I'd be here. But the biggest goal, as I have said, but I want to emphasize it because I think a lot of people need to hear this as well. We're so close to graduation, and I don't want to give up yet. And so if you need support, I'm happy to give it to you, but I also need support. So anything you could do or I can do to help you, I think would be beneficial for everyone. Um, so yeah, that's my growth for the past couple uh, months. And yeah, thank you for coming to my presentation. after you graduate? So my plan after I graduate is to go to college. I don't know where yet. I think the end goal at this point is to do something and get a degree that I can um, use for other things. I have a plan to like go into law enforcement or some sort of public service after that. Mm -hmm. But obviously plans don't stick, so I want a four-year degree that I can pull back on to regardless. Um, so you said you've dealt with I didn't do a lot to overcome it, to be honest, especially in the last couple of weeks. I think it was just motivation that exhibitions were coming up and externs were coming up. Um, as I said, I, I had to really find personal relevance in what I was doing. I had to find ways to make it fun for me, uh, particularly with the final product and Beat the Heat. I did that at the last second, but I gave myself the motivation of going to Avery Hacker's house, meeting her cats, so that definitely helped me get through that. Um, so... Do you think that the, when you graduate, you will be, um, that you will actually think that it, you mattered at the school? Or I mean, I hope so. The whole point of TCS to do some, is to do something that matters. I think I've done a lot of stuff that has mattered and not just boring old school work that doesn't make an impact. We've written stuff for the spokesman review. We've done presentation to community members. We've gone out and helped people on multiple projects. So I would say, yeah, I made an impact in that my time here mattered for sure. You mentioned taking steps, like that you would intend to take a step back and kind of have the like medium between doing, like facilitating and also being able to take a step back. How do you intend to accomplish finding that medium? I mean, just experimenting. As I said earlier, I, I really wanted to experiment with just being completely passive, not really being supportive to other group members to see how that went. Obviously, it didn't go well necessarily. I did my part and then some, but so yeah, finding that happy medium, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. Just experimenting further with group dynamics and taking other positions is going to be very important. Um, you said that you get, you have 100% English in your classes. Um, is that like a point of stress or is it kind of just? So it can be a point of stress in the sense that I'd like to maintain that. I have a GPA of 3.93, so I'm very proud of that. Unfortunately, I have like one B in freshman year that screwed that up. But it's a point of stress, but it's also motivation, less so this year because I've, st I've stopped caring about grades, to be honest. It's also motivation, but it can definitely stress me out, especially when it comes to assignments and getting things done. I'm just a very stressed person. Thank you.